We are standing by. The target is drifting near this center. I believe it's up to 10 degrees uh, in the roll axis, so there's misalignment. The range is five meters. The cross lines are off, not misaligned, uh, not aligned. Are we going to switch to manual control, Moscow? Stand by, we don't have a go yet. Okay, we are standing by. So roll is around five degrees. So the misalignment on the right is around two squares. Yes, we see the same. Please stand by. Everything is nominal, Anatoly. Don't do anything. Here it is. Contact confirmed. Capture confirmed. The Sudan flag. It was all done by automatic control of the Corps' rendezvous system. Docking confirmed at 12.45 p.m. Central Time, 1.45 p.m. Eastern Time. The cook driving and uh, then go to page 28 of the tour procedure. Unintelligible. And uh, the docking probe is now uh, driving. Docking occurring uh, over northwestern uh, China at 12.45 p.m. East, uh, Central Time, 1.45 p.m. Eastern Time. The progress is safely uh, docked to uh, the pier's docking compartment. Right at the end, uh, it appeared as if there was a slight misalignment between uh, the forward docking probe of uh, the progress and the pier's docking compartment, but the Corps' automated rendezvous system uh, made the uh, necessary correction. Flight controllers of the Russian Mission Control Center were happy with what they saw and allowed the progress to guide itself in for an automated docking at 12.45 p.m. Central, 1.45 p.m. Eastern Time, wrapping up a three-hour, 19-minute journey from the launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan.